What's up guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. So we are going to be doing a full day of eating today. Today is Wednesday, October something, <laughs> October 19th. Today is Wednesday, October 19th, uh, and today is a rest day for me. So uh, I'm gonna take a seat on the couch here so I'm not walking around like, uh, like a dingus. So we're gonna be doing a full day of eating video today, as I said, um, just to kind of give you guys some uh, some context before I actually get uh, into the full day of eating today. So uh, right now, calories are around 4,500 to 4,700, really just kind of depends uh, if I'm training uh, and what it is that I'm training. Uh, today is a rest day, so we're probably going to be around uh, 45 to, to 4,600 calories uh, or so for the day. So uh, as always, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, all of my meals. Um, so typically, I eat around six meals per day. Um, but lately I have really been kind of, uh, switching that up into five meals. Uh, and I have found that that has really, uh, been working, uh, quite a bit better for me. So typically when my calories get around the, the 4,500 mark it is really when my appetite starts to, to suffer. Uh, and it really starts, uh, to be a real chore for me to get the food in. Uh, and what I have found lately is that if I eat, uh, five meals per day instead of six, that kind of gives me a little bit more time uh, in between each meal just to kind of let that meal digest a little bit more. Uh, and I am finding as of right now that that is helping with my appetite uh, a little bit better. Now, uh, when I'm dieting, I would prefer to do it the other way around. I would prefer to rather have six meals uh, and eat them closer together. Uh, but as of right now, uh, I'm really, really enjoying the, the five meals per day setup instead of the six. Uh, obviously, each meal is bigger, but I'm really, really finding that that extra time uh, in between each meal uh, makes each meal a bit easier to, to get down. I wouldn't say that it makes it super easy. Uh, like I said, right around this, this point, the 45, 4,700 calorie mark is where eating starts to really just be a huge, huge chore for me. It's, it's not impossible. Uh, I can get my food in on a daily basis. Uh, I would say no problem but I'm pretty uncomfortable uh, while I'm doing it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead uh, and stop rambling now and we're gonna go ahead uh, and get into the first meal. Okay, meal one. So it is about 10 o'clock in the morning right now uh, and I woke up at seven. Uh, and I just kinda wanna give you guys a general idea of how long it is that I'm waiting uh, between waking up and actually eating my first meal. Uh, so this is not something that uh, is normal for me by any means. Uh, typically, I try to eat within an hour to 90 minutes or so uh, of waking up. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier, I'm really starting to get to that point in my bulk where my appetite is just <laughs> really starting to become a hindrance to me. Uh, and I have found, uh, especially right now with my calories so high, that if I try uh, and force myself to eat early in the morning, I have no appetite when I wake up. So if, if I try to force myself to eat early in the morning, one of two things happen. One, it ends up coming back up, which is, is gross. Uh, or two, it just it feels like an absolute chore uh, to, abs to get the food in. And, and, and it feels like it's almost an impossibility. So uh, kind of going back to what I said earlier uh, in the intro, uh, I have kind of found that like shortening my eating window to an extent uh, and eating less meals per day, uh, but eating bigger meals with more time in between them has really helped me kind of uh, counteract the appetite uh, as best as I can. Now, this type of setup is, is still really difficult uh, for me, uh, but it's not as difficult uh, as trying to force myself to eat uh, early in the morning. So uh, even at this point, I've been up for three hours. I went for a walk this morning. I have, let's see, I've got about 3,000 steps this morning, which is not anything super crazy, but I've, I've definitely gotten up and I've gotten some activity uh, in this morning. Uh, and honestly, even as I'm sitting here, I'm not particularly hungry per se. I just need to, to get started to eat so that I can kind of keep up uh, to date with my schedule today. Um, I apologize for my messy kitchen table, but today's a Wednesday and Wednesdays, Wednesdays are a, a pretty busy check-in day for me. So I've been uh, kind of sitting here all morning and, and, and catching up 
up with some client work and uh, I'm going to take a little work break here and get my first meal in. So uh, we'll go over the first meal here. So I've got a, a decent amount of stuff here I kind of want to go over. Um, so the first, I need to be careful about this because I can spill it. So this is 75 grams of Rice Krispie cereal. And I have 32 grams of Dimatize ISO 100 uh, whey protein in here, which is just one scoop of it. And then I also have one cup or 240 milliliters of lactose-free whole milk. And I'm using whole milk because it's got more calories and it's, uh, it's a lot easier to consume. Um, in this bowl, I've got 75 grams of cream of rice uh, and you're probably like, oh, what, what did I mix in there? So I put in five grams of unsweetened cocoa powder in here with four packets uh, of Splenda because unsweetened cocoa powder is unbelievably bitter. So I add in some Splenda just to, to give it uh, some more taste, which turns the cream of rice into like a chocolate cream of rice. Uh, and then on top here, I've got 20 grams of sunflower seed butter. Uh, and this is actually gonna be my very first time eating this sunflower seed butter. So um, for those of you guys who have been bulking and stuff, you'll be pretty familiar with uh, things like peanut butter and almond butter and all of that type of stuff and how that's like a bulking hack, super easy way to get in uh, high amounts of calories. Unfortunately, uh, nut butters have seemed to turn on my stomach. So uh, I do not have a nut allergy, but I seem to have a nut sensitivity uh, because it doesn't matter if I'm eating peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter. I I've tried tons of different kinds. All uh, of these nut butters really seem to, to aggravate my stomach uh, and, and really cause me like really, really bad digestive problems. And, and not just the nut butters, uh, but the actual nuts themselves. So eating handfuls of almonds or cashews or whatever uh, is really kind of starting to turn uh, on my stomach, which is very unfortunate because uh, one, I love those foods. Uh, and two, they're super easy way to get in uh, extensive calories. So uh, I've kind of been doing some research and I've kind of come to the conclusion that this uh, this sunflower seed butter uh, is supposed to be a pretty good alternative uh, for people that have nut allergies uh, and nut sensitivities. Uh, so this will be my first time uh, giving that uh, a shot today. So uh, we'll kind of see how that goes. I love sunflower seeds, so I can imagine <clears throat> I can imagine that it's probably pretty good. Um, so I've got these two things to get down. Um, and then in here is a cup or 240 milliliters of 100% apple juice. Um, and it's probably hard to tell, but I've got my creatine mixed in there in the bottom. I just got to give it a stir here. Um, and then I've got some health supplements that I'll take with this first meal. Um, so I have the Revive MD blood pressure uh, supplement in here. Um, I have 500 milligrams, I think, uh, of citrus bergamot. Um, I've got 400 milligrams of BCM 95 curcumin, and then I have 200 milligrams of dihydroberberine in here. Um, right now, my, my carbs today are probably going to fall somewhere between six, six and 700. Um, but it's not uncommon for me on training days uh, to be in like the 750 to 800 uh, carbohydrate range. So you combine that massive carbohydrate intake with the fact that my body fat percentage is realistically starting to get to like its upper end. Uh, and lately my uh, blood glucose levels have started to creep into the low 90s, which is a little bit higher uh, than what I would like them to be. So I have recently started implementing um, supplements to, uh, to manage my blood glucose levels. Uh, and that's what this, uh, this dihydroberberine, uh, is in, in there for. So, um, cereal, whey, milk, cream of rice, sunflower seed butter, apple juice. I'll put the macros, uh, for this meal here, uh, somewhere, uh, along here. Uh, but, uh, it's time to eat. So I got to go ahead uh, and start getting this down and, and then get finished up with my client work here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to eat this, uh, and then I will see you guys for my second meal. Okay, we just finished meal one and we are off on a little walk right now. I don't have my microphone with me, so the audio may not be as good as it was uh, in the other clips, but uh, I'm still trying to get this done. So uh, this is something that has become uh, a very uh, important part of my daily routine right now uh, is taking little walks like this after I eat my meals. So I picked this up uh, from Stan Efforting uh, and his vertical diet principles. So the, the main reason why I'm going for like a 10 to 15 minute walk 
after I eat my meals uh, is because it helps considerably with digestion. And uh, digestion is extremely important. I mean, all times of the year, really, but uh, especially right now when food uh, is really, really, really high. Uh, and what I've just kind of noticed is that I'm very militant and diligent about choosing foods that digest well with me. But the reality of the situation is that when you're eating 4,500 to 5,000 calories a day, it doesn't really matter to an extent what foods it is that you're choosing. Uh, it's just the sheer volume of food is going to be really difficult uh, on the digestive system. So um, I have uh, recently uh, been in a position where, wait for this car to pass by, um, I've recently been in a position where my online coaching business is doing a lot better. And so I am working from home uh, quite a bit more, which is awesome. Uh, but one of the uh, things that is less than ideal about online coaching is that online coaching is basically like a, an office job. It's a very sedentary job. Um, spend a lot of time in the day just sitting down at the computer, basically. So um, I do this for two reasons. One, to help with my digestion. Uh, and two, just to kind of give me a little break, get up. Uh, and get some steps uh, and just kind of get my activity up. So right now it's like 39 degrees, 11 in the morning in Chicago, it's 39 degrees. It was 29 or 31 when I woke up this morning, just super, super cold. So uh, these 10 minute walks kind of suck right now. I'm looking into getting a treadmill, but my girlfriend and I, we live in a pretty small like one bedroom apartment it's only like 700 800 square feet so uh we got some kids up here at this school so if you hear that that's what that is um but i'm looking at getting like a foldable treadmill or something like that just uh to be able to make these walks easier especially as it gets colder uh but yeah so just kind of wanted to talk about the importance of these uh these little walks right here uh, i'll be doing these after every single meal today so uh gonna get this walk finished up get caught up with some client work uh, and then I'll see you guys again for meal two. Okay, it's about one o'clock, so it is time to eat meal two. So um, meal two, I have 133 grams of rice. I've got about four ounces of chicken in here and I've got about four ounces uh, of 96% lean ground beef. So um, if you remember from the beginning of the video, I kind of talked about how some days I eat six meals and some days I eat five. So uh, the way that I set it up uh, is I have my first meal, my breakfast meal, and then I'll have four meat and rice meals uh, in the afternoon. And each one of those meals uh, is 100 grams of rice, raw weight, measured before cooking. Everything that I say uh, for the record is going to be raw weight, measured before cooking. So uh, I'll have four meat and rice meals. All four of those will have 100 grams of rice. And then two of those will have uh, six ounces of chicken. And then two of those will have seven ounces of of beef. Uh, and so ideally what happens is I do uh, chicken and rice, beef and rice, chicken and rice, beef and rice. Now that's if I'm doing six meals per day. Uh, what typically happens on days like today uh, is instead of doing six meals, I'm going to do five. So what I do is I take those four meat and rice meals in the afternoon and I consolidate them uh, into three meals. So uh, that's why I have a mix uh, of chicken and beef in here uh, is because uh, I'm, I'm consolidating what is normally four meals down into three. So um, the 400 grams of rice divided by three is 133 grams of rice in here. Um, and then just kind of splitting the, the chicken uh, and the beef equally comes out to about four ounces of each or so uh, in here. So um, on top of this, I've got a uh, half a cup of bone broth. Uh, so bone broth is a great source of glutamine, which is great for digestion, uh, but it also tastes good and, and it makes this meal go down a lot easier. Uh, when I put the bone broth over the food, it kind of makes the food uh, like wet and moist uh, and it makes it a lot easier to eat uh, in large amounts. Um, I also have 200 grams of unsweetened applesauce in here. Uh, this is the Trader Joe's unsweetened applesauce. Uh, and there are two things that are awesome uh, about 
uh, the Trader Joe's applesauce. Uh, the first is that, uh, I mean, applesauce in general, uh, I don't have to chew this. I, I can basically drink this. Uh, so it's basically a, a liquid apple. Uh, and then what's really awesome about the Trader Joe's applesauce is that the only ingredient in it is apples. I, I can actually show you what the, what the label looks like. So this is the, the Trader Joe's applesauce and you'll see that the only ingredient uh, in the ingredient list uh, is apples, that's it. Uh, and, and so this uh, is basically uh, a liquid apple uh, for, for lack of a better word. So uh, this is gonna be a lot easier for me uh, to eat uh, than what a normal apple was, uh, especially uh, at this point. Uh, and it's very clean. I, I've been to a lot of grocery stores and seen a lot of apple sauces that are unsweetened and they've got a bunch of preservatives and, and bullshit that are mixed in there. So uh, the Trader Joe's one is nice because it's only only apples uh, and that's it. Uh, on top of uh, this food, I'm gonna put the, the Nando sauce. This is the Nando's Peri Peri. Uh, this is the medium one. Uh, I made a TikTok video uh, on this, uh, kind of talking about uh, doing like a live taste test. Uh, and I've really uh, come to enjoy this, uh, this sauce a lot. It's, uh, it's pretty solid. So uh, as of this point, it's, it's definitely a staple uh, in, uh, in at least one of my meals per day. So um, this is gonna be meal two. Again, about 133 grams of rice. Uh, I've got about four ounces of chicken and four ounces of beef, uh, and then 200 grams of unsweetened applesauce, uh, and then half a cup of bone broth on top of the food. So I'll put the macros and, and stuff here somewhere, uh, and then uh, that will be it. I'm gonna go ahead uh, and get uh, eating this, uh, and then I will see you guys again for meal three in a couple hours. All right, what's up guys? We are back for meal three. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon or so. Um, I'm sorry that all of these meals at this point, you guys are watching me from the same angle, but this is pretty much the reality of my life right now uh, is I pretty much uh, am living my life uh, either at this kitchen counter uh, or in our bedroom. Uh, I have a little corner desk in there, but uh, the online coaching life is not very uh, luxurious, but uh, anyways, uh, meal number three here. This is going to be the same exact thing uh, that I just had for meal two. So this is 133 grams uh, of rice, about four ounces of chicken and about four ounces or so uh, of beef here. Um, and then instead of applesauce, I have 200 grams of, of pineapple for this meal. So um, as far as condiments, uh, I'm not gonna use a condiment for this meal. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it raw. I'm, I'm gonna hit it with nothing and uh, and and just get her down. So, um, just a little update on the sunflower seed butter that I had with meal one. Uh, not good. Uh, taste tasted good, but my stomach did not like it. Um, I this is you know gross, and I don't want to you know make a thing out of it. But about an hour to an hour and a half after I ate that meal, I had diarrhea, uh, and I've had. Uh, a couple of bouts of diarrhea since then. So uh, like I said, it's about four o'clock and I had that like five hours ago and I'm still having loose bowels throughout the day. So uh, telltale sign that that did not digest well with me uh, because that has been my typical meal one uh, for quite some time now and I changed nothing in that meal except adding in the sunflower seed butter uh, and my digestion went to shit, literally. So um, those are, you know, kind of uh, some good ways to be able to tell if a food uh, is digesting well with you or not. Uh, you know, immediately to, you know, when I say immediately, I mean like an hour to an hour and a half uh, or so after you eat it, do you experience loose bowels? Uh, and in this case, I do. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of looking like I don't I don't have a nut butter alternative right now, which really sucks. Can't do peanut butter, can't do almond butter, can't do cashew butter, and now I can't do sunflower seed butter. So uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to find uh, a different fat source. Boo hoo! But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get tucked into this meal here, uh, get this one knocked out, uh, and then we'll go on a little uh, ten minute walk, uh, and then I got a little more content work to finish up for the day. Uh, but the Yankees play in about two hours. I'm a huge Yankees fan. We play the Astros tonight, uh, game one. I fucking hate the Houston Astros, uh, and and so that uh, those are my plans for the day. That's on the agenda. So. Gonna go ahead and get this one down, uh, and then I'll see you guys for meal four. See you guys then. 
What's up guys? So meal number four uh, coming at you from the couch. I'm, I'm using a lamp for lighting right now. It's about seven o'clock at night now. So uh, lighting is a little bit different. Uh, I'm watching the Yankees and the Astros game right now. It uh, first inning just ended. So uh, at this point, work is on pause for me. I may do, uh, you know, little few things here and there in between uh, innings and stuff on commercials. But uh, typically I kind of like to uh, give a game uh, my full attention. It's usually kind of how I uh, unwind after uh, uh, after a long work day. So um, we, are, like I said, are sitting down for meal four. Uh, so meal four is going to be the exact same uh, as two and three. 133 grams uh, of rice, about four ounces of chicken, and about four ounces of beef, uh, and then half a cup of bone broth. I have some Frank's uh, Red Hot Buffalo sauce on there. Uh, and then I am also going to have 100 grams of Rice Krispie cereal, and I'm gonna put a cup uh, or 240 milliliters of lactose-free whole milk on this. So uh, this is not uh, what I normally do for this meal. What I normally do for this meal is I have the rice and meat, uh, and then I have either some more fruit or fruit juice, uh, and then I have my cereal with my last meal, which I'm gonna eat uh, in a little bit here. Um, but lately I have noticed that if I eat smaller meals before bed, uh, I sleep a little bit better and I feel that my digestion is a little bit better. Uh, usually what happens if I eat like larger meals before I go to bed is that I kind of wake up in the middle of the night uh, either sweating, having heartburn, or both. Uh, and I notice that if I can uh, have a pretty small meal before I go to bed uh, and not go to bed feeling so bloated, uh, I also feel like I sleep a little bit better. Uh, and I don't know if that's because my body isn't digesting as much food uh, or whatever it is. But uh, so, yeah, like typically, I'll, like I said, I'll have the cereal with my final meal, but. Most days if I sit down uh, for the second to last meal and I finish the meat and rice and my appetite is still good, uh, I will eat the cereal now uh, so that when I eat my last meal, uh, I won't have to eat the cereal and uh, I can just eat a pretty small meal uh, and then go to bed. So uh, I'm going to go ahead uh, and, and get into this meal. I'll also have um, another 200 milligrams of the dihydroberberine. Uh, so I'll have that uh, in here so uh, just to help with, you know, blood glucose control. So I'm uh, going to go ahead uh, and get this meal down, watch the game, uh, go for another quick little walk uh, after I eat this meal. Uh, and then we'll have one more uh, and then it's time for bed. All right, what's up guys? Time for meal number five. So uh, we're still on the couch. The Yankees game is still on. Uh, they just went into the, the top of the ninth. The Yankees are down 2-4. So I'm hoping for uh, a little uh, late inning miracle here. So um, we're going to uh, get this last meal down while I watch this game. So let me pull this up here. So I've got three um, whole eggs with a little bit of sugar-free ketchup on top. Uh, and then I've got four pieces of uh, turkey bacon. This is um, Trader Joe's turkey bacon. It's uncured uh, and it's 94% uh, fat free. If you guys wanna go check out my last full day of eating video, I kinda go over the ingredients and stuff of that uh, and, and talk about why I really like to eat that. But um, that's uh, really it. I mean, I'll take some some health supplements with this. Uh, I've, I've got a ton of stuff in here, tons of, tons of stuff. Fish oil, ubiquinol, uh, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, BCM95 curcumin, uh, DIM, more of the revived blood pressure from earlier on. Uh, there's a baby aspirin in there, tons, tons of stuff in here. So uh, these are my nighttime uh, health supplements. Uh, like I said earlier, usually I'll have a bowl of cereal with this meal, but I've really just been preferring uh, to have the cereal earlier uh, and then have this as my last meal before bed just because it's uh, definitely uh, my smallest meal uh, of the day. So uh, just going to get this down uh, and get to bed. It's been a pretty long day, pretty tired. Uh, and I got a big leg workout tomorrow, Legs B, which is my hardest workout uh, of the entire week. So I'm uh, going to get this down uh, and get some sleep. Uh, by now, I'll have had the, the total macros kind of scroll across somewhere here on the screen uh, for the day. So uh, you guys will see uh, what a typical day uh, of eating is like for me right now. Uh, again, today was, uh, was a rest day, but uh, my nutrition is not really different a whole lot uh, between a rest day uh, and a training day. So uh, again, going to go ahead and get this down uh, and then get to bed. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, and as always, take care of yourself. Uh.